Canelo recently defeated Jaime Munguia, had a pretty decent performance, ultimately winning a unanimous decision, dropped him once in the fight. I think he's still one of the biggest names in boxing, if not the biggest. And I think it's safe to say that the 168 pound division or super middleweight is really what is most fitting for him. And now I think there's a ton of questions about who his next fight should be. I think there's really three possible options. First up is David Benavidez. He is probably a bad matchup for someone like Canelo with his really heavy body shots. And given his height at 6'2 and able to make 168, really would be a big size disadvantage for Canelo. Probably mimics someone like Dimitri Bivol, who I think is also one of those big three names that he should fight. But really, Benavidez, I think, would offer him a pretty tough matchup. I don't think that's necessarily that Benavidez would be guaranteed to beat him, but he would offer him a pretty challenging fight. And he really should technically be his mandatory for a while, probably even since 2021. But I think the WBC ruled him as Canelo's mandatory after he beat Caleb Plant. So in theory, Canelo should be forced to face Benavidez, but for whatever reason, the WBC isn't activating that mandatory. I think for a lot of boxing fans, the fight would be big, but you do look at uh, his record. Hasn't really had a lot of big fights. Has beat Caleb Plant, someone Canelo beat, but Canelo beat him via TKO, whereas Benavidez got that unanimous decision, whereas someone like Munguia beat John Ryder in better fashion than Canelo did, so that really forced that recent fight. And it could just be that Canelo, for purposes of negotiation, just doesn't want to seem that interested, but they're probably going to make the fight happen and want to get a higher purse or something like that. Another big option I think that could easily be his next fight as well is Terrence Crawford. It looks like through some rumors that this is probably the next fight. Crawford has an upcoming fight at 154, which I think is a jump in weight from where he was at before. But after that, if he's able to win that in dominant fashion. I think he's even interested in jumping up and says he will come up to face Canelo. And I think this fight obviously does favor Canelo because while Terrence Crawford is a really good fighter, arguably the number one pound for pound fighter on several lists, that weight advantage I think would really favor Canelo. And it probably is a bigger pay-per-view draw. And it looks like they could be targeting something as soon as December of this year or January. And I think if he is able to beat Terrence Crawford, then he would probably go ahead and do that uh, Devin Benavidez fight at 168. And I think if he was able to beat both of them, he could go back up and try to get that uh, Dimitri Bivol loss back. That is not an easy fight by any means, but I mean, it's not like Bivol knocked him out, still won a unanimous decision, but I think Canelo really looked fatigued and sluggish. Maybe the weight gain wasn't really good for him. So maybe if they agreed to a catch weight or something like that, that could definitely be uh, one of those end of the line fights for Canelo if he's able to get uh, a win against Crawford, a win against Benavidez, and wanted to try to get that back, and then you could force a trilogy. But it is possible he just stays at 168. Uh, maybe could face some other big names, some other contenders. He does have a lot of star power, which is why he's really in control of what he wants to do next, even though David Benavidez is a great fighter. But feel free to let me know what you guys think is next for Canelo. Appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you later.